A Sufi was wandering the world. One night, he came as a guest to a community of Sufis. He tied up his donkey in the stable and then was welcomed to the head of the dais. They went into deep meditation and mystical communion. He and these friends For such people, a person's presence is more to learn from than a book. A Sufi's book is not composed with ink and alphabet. A scholar loves and lives on the marks of a pen. A Sufi loves footprints. He sees those and stalks his game. At first he sees clues. After a time, he can follow the scent. by fragrance is a hundred times better than following tracks. A person who is opening to the divine is like a door to a Sufi. What might appear a worthless stone to others to him is a pearl. You see your image clearly in a mirror, a shake sees more than that in a discarded brick. Sufi masters are those whose spirits existed before the world, before the body they lived lifetimes. Before seeds went into the ground, they harvested wheat. Before there was an ocean, they strung pearls. While the great meeting was going on about bringing human beings into existence, they stood up to their chins in wisdom water. When some of the angels opposed creation, the Sufi sheikhs laughed and clapped among themselves. Before materiality, they knew what it was like to be trapped inside matter. Before there was a night sky, they saw Saturn. Before wheat grains, they tasted bread. With no mind, they thought. Immediate intuition to them is the simplest act of consciousness. What to others would be epiphany. Much of our thought of the past or the future, they're free of those. Before a mine is dug, they judge coins. Before vineyards, they know the excitements to come. In July, they feel December. 
In unbroken sunlight they find shade In fauna The state where all objects dissolve They recognize objects The open sky drinks from their circling cup The sky wears the gold of their generosity When two of them meet They are no longer two they're one and six hundred thousand. The ocean waves are their closest likeness. When wind makes from unity the numerous. This happened to the sun and it broke into rays through the window into bodies. The disk of the sun does exist. But if you see only the ray bodies, you may have doubts. The human divine combination is a oneness, plurality, the apparent separation into rays. Friend, we're traveling together. Throw off your tiredness. Let me show you one tiny spot of the beauty that cannot be spoken. I'm like an ant that's gotten into the granary, ludicrously happy, and trying to lug out a grain that's way too big. 